So, three things to affect leadership. It goes back to culture, cause, and coaching. So if we jump over to culture, people wanna feel known, celebrate them, don't tolerate them. Build an environment where people feel like their voice is heard and that they matter. And when that happens, they feel like they belong. There's a saying, people join people and not companies. The truth is, people leave people as well. But people will stay with a culture and a cause and a cause that's bigger than any one individual. So what is a cause? It's the why. Our job as leaders is to create the why and define theirs. We do it through vision casting, where it creates meaning and purpose. Our industry is so meaningful, we do noble work. We help people retire with their dignity, and we speak for the beneficiary that does not have a seat at the table. So those are the what's. The truth is, it's more than the what. See, we help with happiness. There was a study done in the 1940s by Harvard Business School. As a matter of fact, it's the longest running study by Harvard, still going on today. And what they did is they took a group of sophomores and Southside youth in Boston, and they followed them in their careers, in their families. They followed them in their uh, medical, their financial, all to determine one thing. What leads to happiness? You know what they concluded? Happiest were those that were connected with their family, their friends, and invested in their communities. You see, when an advisor sits down with somebody and they talk about retirement planning, life insurance, etc., really it's about who matters most. And a financial advisor can connect the what with the who to help them with happiness. See, families that stay together and play together, spouses loving spouses, spouses loving their children, that's what this is all about. We need to recruit to a cause about this meaningful work. And it's amazing. When you have people rallied around a cause, guess what? Travis Penfield says, recruiting leads to leadership, not the other way around. Why? Because he has everyone in the organization recruiting. Every advisor wants to go tell everybody else about this great profession and why it's such meaningful work. And then once they join, it's not the people in management that are recruiting, it's every advisor. Wouldn't we all love to have a culture like that? 